Okay, today we're going to be doing properties of logarithmic functions. Are you ready? Yeah! Yeah! Hey, Matt? yeah. <laughs> you guys kind of slurred that one. Okay. <laughs> exactly. All right. So, if you have the log of a product, let's say x, y. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write this mass. I'm going to write it big. Bubbles. Log of x, y. Okay. This equals? Log the, 3 x. Okay, now the base could be anything. This could be anything, so I'll leave it blank. Log of x plus log y. All right. So that's one property of logs. So if I were to say log of 30, for example, log of 30, you could say that's the log of 5 plus the log of 6. Any questions about that? Just in theory. Yeah. Yes. Do you have a question? Agree. Oh, you're agreeing. Okay. <laughs> Any questions? Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> log of x over y equals... Okay. So, if I were to say log of 30, that's also the equivalent of log of, <coughs> let's say, 90 minus the log of 3, for example. Okay? 90 over 3. Okay? So that's one rule of logs, and there's one more that we're going to do today, and then we're going to hit our problems. <coughs> Blowing again, blowing again. Uh, oh. How are we doing? Bubblicious. Bubblicious. We're going to cancel the bubbles. Hold yeah. on, you're out, of, you're out of screen. No, I'm just kidding. Blow them in the air. Okay. It's okay, I'm, I'm cool being out of screen, sorry. All right, so this oh, is yeah. the property as well. When you have a square out here, it's the equivalent as moving the square to the front and saying two times the log. Two times the log. In other words, in other words, the log of 6 squared is the same as 2 times the log of 6. Oh, so you just switch the exponent to the front. Yeah, you switch the exponent to the front. Right. That's it. Log of 6 squared is 2 times the log of 6. So now let's try a few problems. All right. So given information. Okay, I'm going to erase this. Erasing. I hope you have it on your paper. Okay. Oh no, wait! Oh. You're kidding, right? Yeah, I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, given information. Oh my god. Fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> guys, keep it together. Keep it together, please. Come on. Watch out for the bubbles. I got math bubbles. Remember to learn. <laughs> keep one eye on the prize. Oh, well, I only have one eye now because I got soap in the other one. Okay. I'm happy for you or not. <laughs> okay. So, here's given information. Log base 3 of 5 is 1.47. Log base 3 of 20 is 2.73. Okay. And now, the problem given to us is solve without using the calculator. Without using the log button in your calculator, solve log base 3 of 4. So you basically have to search for how to recreate this 4 using 5 and or 20. All right. So, any guesses off the bat? Five times four. Yeah? Just subtract, yep. Um, Louder. Can't you just subtract 1.47 from 2.73 to get what log of now? No, that wouldn't work. work. That would just be log base 3 of 20 minus log base 3 of 5. Uh, 5 divided by 20 divided by 5. Yeah. 20 divided by 5? You to say that? Yeah. Uh, 20 divided by 5 is one way. I got one. That we get. Yeah, do you have another one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, are we allowed to multiply here? Yeah. All right, 5 times 5, 3 times, and then... 5 times 5, 3 times 20, one, 125? 20. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay, it's um, good. 5 times 3 and then 20 minus 15? 5 times 3, well, we don't have log base 3 of 3. Oh. 
Okay. You're saying five yeah. times three? We have so five I can only, I can only multiply five times five. I can five times five we can do. That would give us twenty-five. No, I'm saying I'm saying we can only do something to the uh, fifth power or to like five to the squared five. Yeah, yeah. We can only use this as our number. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has to be twenty over. 50? It looks like twenty and five. I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's. More. I have a question. Please. What we're doing Laugh. right now yeah. is we're trying to use what we're given uh -huh. to find to put. For four. Exactly. Okay. We're using what we're given, as well as properties of logs, right. to solve this. Will okay. they always relate to each other? What will relate to what? Will they always like be like five and twenty? Like yeah, five there's five going to be a way okay. to solve. Exactly. So why don't you divide it? We will. We will. Let's do it. Patience. So equals log base three of twenty divided by five. So the four just changed to twenty over five. And now this is the second property that we wrote before. Yeah. So subtract. So exactly. Subtract. So it's log. It's division and subtraction community. Division and subtraction are kind of like cousins. <laughs> cousins. I like to think of them that way. I hope you guys have good relationships with your cousins. Do you? Yeah. yeah. We do math all the time. <laughs> I believe you. Okay. Oh, so now we just use. Now we use what we're given. Oh, I like yeah. this. I'm glad. That's good. I don't. I'm just kidding. Yeah. So we just go. That's a joke. Yeah, yeah, what? So we just go 2.73 minus 2.47. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. Wait, I don't get it. Let's say one more time. What she said? What's this? 2.73. 2 okay. And then we just subtract. What's this? 1.47. Michael's! Minus 2.47. What's this? Oh! 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 2.73. I know, really loud. I hope the other classes don't mind. Don't worry, we don't. Alright, what's this? Kalki? 1.25. 1.25? 4. 1.24. 1.24. Okay, that's the answer. So we should know the formula. Yeah, yeah, you did, but I needed to show the work. You said that at the beginning, I need to show the work, so we see process. So long. I was right. No, Molly. Okay, next one. Oh, okay. Please don't do it. Log base 3 of 25. It's actually 1.26. It's actually 1.26? Yeah. That's not. I got 1.24 twice. Well, twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> yeah, no, it's 1.26. 1.24, yeah. Oh my god. 3 minus 7 is 6, you guys. What are you doing? See? Thank yeah, you. I got your back, man. Good job. I got your back. One love, one love. I don't want to leave you hanging out with the wrong hands. Okay, no. <laughs> Alright, good. So, uh, now we're going to do this. Yeah, You guys like the shirt? Yeah, it's on the TV. Is it roots or, or branches? Roots. 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 You're, you're a pessimist. Just branches. Cool. Branches, because I see birds. Birds can't live underground. It's a fact. Okay, good. <laughs> well, you know what it is? It's the roots because your head what is about the branch. ostriches? Yeah, the head's the branch. Okay. Also, just stick their heads under. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's good. All right, next problem. Erasing. So, erasing, yeah. Go, Molly. Oh, so it's. What can we format 25 to be using one of these? Five times five. Five, no, five, five times five. Squared. Five squared. Five times five. Whatever. So log base three of uh, five squared <laughs> equals what's the third property of logs that we did? Oh, two, uh, two times, times log three. three. This five. two comes to the front. Very good. Very good. Two times log base three of five. Would it just be with? log three ten, or would you? So two times log base then three. Then we of know five. that log three. Five oh, is that the answer? Is no. one point seven. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We know that log base 3 of 5 is 1.47. 1. 1. So 2, two times 1.47. Exactly. 2 times log. Okay, oh, I wrote it twice. <coughs> 2 times 1.47. And that is 2.94. Oh, go. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Correct. <laughs> 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 All right, that's that one. Okay. Well, yeah, questions. Any questions on this concept? All right, so the properties of logs come in handy throughout the rest of the lesson. What is a log? Log is a logarithmic function okay, that follows a certain path on a graph. So that's the answer? This is the answer. Log is a logarithmic function. It's a type of function. Are they always going to be decimals? Logs are usually decimals. Yeah. Logs are usually. Remember log, we talked about bend form? Yeah. Logs produce exponents. Alright. Okay.
Yeah. Here we go. Oh, so it's like three to the two point seven three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Exactly. We come out. Okay, so these are out. Erase faster. Faster, better, stronger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave alone. Faster, better, stronger. I hate that song. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you sing it. I know. Okay, yeah, okay. Write right the following problem. <laughs> we have two of these. <laughs> log base five of four equals log base five. Are we working backwards? Might be on the film. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is a major hint of this problem? Four goes in to sixteen. What do you think? Uh, based on the properties that we did. So oh, we know that, that it's a division. Wait, 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 one at a time. What do we got? What do you got? Yeah, I heard, I heard someone say it. Did you say it too? I heard you say it. Division? Based on Division five. based on what? And then we also have... You know, it's subtraction. subtraction. It's subtraction. So, you know it's so it's going to be division, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. However, before we create yeah, our division, fun. let's do the exponent, right. So how can we reformat this 3 so that we can condense this, yes? Log 5x. Say log base 5. Log base 5x five cubed. X cubed, right. So we're moving this 3 out to the x cubed. Why? That's one of the properties of logs because what we're going to do is we're going to condense this so that in the end we'll remove both logs. And I'll show you what I mean. We're condensing right now. We're condensing. In this case, the answer will help you understand. Okay, so log base 5x cubed minus log is 5. And 4 equals log. Looks like I'm proposing to the math. 5 is 16. <laughs> okay. All right, so that was one step. Now we can do the... The division. Are you cool with this? This minus sign basically means we're going to write log base 5 of x cubed divided by 4. You okay. sure? <laughs> if you have yeah. a question, ask. If you just write it. Oh, yeah, we'll write it. We'll write it. So here we have minus. Notice they have to be <coughs> the same base, otherwise, we can't do any of this stuff. So be prepared for the fact that most of the time the bases will be the same. So we can apply our properties. Is there ever a point where they won't be? If they won't be, then we have we have to be given like the decimals in the previous problems, all right? It's like given information that we can use to solve. Uh -huh. But if the bases are not the same, we can't combine, we can't subtract, add, divide, all that stuff. Okay, so here we go. Log. So with, to do properties of logarithms, your base needs to be the same. Correct. To do properties of logs, the base needs to be the same. Good. Write this a lot bigger. So tell me what to write. Log base 5 of what? Um, x to the 3. x to the 3. Over log base 5. No. Over 4. No. Log base 5, x to the 3. Yeah. All over 4. All over 4. Over 4. How do you do that? I'll, I'll tell you. Oh, like that. Like that. Like that. Look at your second property we wrote at the beginning. Yeah. It looks just like that. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. It looks just yeah. like that. Oh, the vibe. Okay. How do you yeah. do that with an actual? You'll see. <laughs> That's not annoying. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so now look what's happening. Look what's happening. You have log base 5 of this guy equals log base 5 of that guy. So wouldn't you agree? This guy must be equal to that guy. So yeah. 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 So what equals what? 4 times 4 is 16. No, you have to do something for the no, exponent so that's 3 times the divisible. Divide by 4. No, well, no, what, what can I write? New equation. Oh, multiply everything by 4. No, without the logs. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> logs is X, irrelevant. Okay, multiply everything by 4. X cubed over 4 equals 16. Right. This has to be 16. Yeah. Because this is 16. Right. The X, the so X has to X be has 16. To be the whole four. thing. No, this no. entity, this thing, <coughs> needs to be 16. So, so X cubed X over four, 4 equals 16. It's 4. So it's 4. X so we're getting there. We're, get, uh, we're getting there. Not school. They're, they're, they're thinking about it. It's good. But uh, as long as you get here, that's the goal. This is, to me, we've done the hardest part of the problem. Because now we're in equation land. Now we're solving. Equation that. So now, 
Now you. How do we solve? Yeah. Multiply. Times both sides by four. Multiply both sides by four or cross multiply, either way. So multiply both sides by four. I like that one. Leaving us with what's left here? X cubed. X cubed. Equals 64. What yeah. times what times four. what is 64? Four. 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 <coughs> X equals four. There you go. Solve the problem. That's it. That's solved. Really? Questions on that? Yeah. All right. So here we're solving for X and X is four. So we're going to do one more. Okay, that's all. That's yeah. all it is. Are you going to do number three? We're going to do number three and number four and number ten. No, and number I mean three. Formula. Number four. Number three. Number five. Number nine. Love potion number nine. <laughs> it's a good song too. Okay. Is you ready? I is. Oh man. Okay. Write the following: log base four of x plus log base four. X minus six. I'd appreciate it if you guys stay focused in the lesson and not talk during it. I want your education to be my priority. Thanks. Focus. Okay. Multiplication. <laughs> All right. Good. So we already saw it. Who else sees that. that it's going to be a multiplication property? I see. Yeah. I see it. Based good. on the plus. Good. Good. So, okay. so how can we rewrite? following. X times X minus 6 equals 2. No, no, not yet. Log. First we need log. Log, log base yeah. Four X. Log base 4 of X times what? X minus log 6. Log base 4. So it's X squared minus 6. I just add minus 6. Why? Refer to your first because formula, your first property at the beginning of today's lesson. it's the same lesson. thing and you cross out if you have it again. Right? We're not going to cross off yet. We're just combining these two. Look at your first. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, we already have it there and we shouldn't repeat it again. Right, we're not repeating. Exactly. We right. condense it into one formula. Equals two. Okay. Who recalls our friend Ben? I do. I do. Ben. Okay, so here's Ben. Hi, Ben. Bye -bye. <laughs> Why don't you return my calls? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like you. Okay, so this is this is base to the exponent equals the number, like as in two to the three would equal eight. Now, how do we write this in log form? What what letter goes down here? E. B for base. What letter goes N. here? N. And good job. What letter goes here? E. e. All right. So this is an in Ben form. It's in log bene. Log bene. <laughs> So, it sounds like Lagune. Lagune. Okay, so we're going to change this log form into Ben form to solve. So, I want you to do this actually. This 4 is what letter? Yeah. B. Good job, you. Okay. <laughs> that was B. It's B. Why? Because it's base right here. Yeah. Okay, so 4. <coughs> What's the 2? Two? 2. See it? Yeah. Is it N? Is it E? It is E. Do you see how it's E here? See, it's yeah, see. equals E. Equals E. Here, equals E. Equals 2. So that's 2. All right. This guy in the middle here, where is it located there? In the N. In the N. Can you see that the N goes after the log? Yeah. Here, it goes after the log. So what's our N in this case? X minus 6. Not just x minus 6, x times x minus 6. X times. Okay? Equals. So equals. All right. So using this <coughs> format, we've reformatted our logarithmic equation into an exponential equation. But we're not done. We're not done. We have to solve for x. Now, but this can be solved. So it's 16 equals. 16 equals. Let's go. Equals x squared minus 6x. Ready to attack for factor? Ready? Oh, factor. Factor. Ready? What do we do? Parenthesis. What? Parenthesis. No, what do we do? You have to subtract 6. You do. Oh, well, it's already enough. You have to have them all on one side. All on one side. What do we do to get that? Subtract 16. We already knew that. Tell me to do it. <laughs> Minus 16. Okay. So zero. So this is coming out. 
So let's write everything on the left now. x squared minus 6x minus 16 equals 0. Questions on this? OK. Factor time. Parentheses, parentheses. x minus 8 minus 2. Minus 8 plus 2. Say it loud. X minus 8 plus 2. Or X yep, yep. Uh, minus 8 plus X. parentheses. And then, X. <laughs> yeah. and then uh, X plus 2 plus parentheses. Respect that one. Alright, that's correct. Thank you. And now, what are the values of X? 8 and negative 2. X equals 8. Dose. X equals negative 2. Yeah. Here's the thing. Logarithmic equations are not negative ever. So, so it's 8. eight. So it's never negative? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's the idea. So that's properties of blocks. Any more questions? Feeling okay? Oh, thank you. Yay math. I applaud you. Yeah. Thank you. Yay math. Why do you say question, yay math? Anyway, you can cut it. Bye. Cut it. Cut it. Do out.